السلام علیکم دس از غلام عباس فام ایم ایچ لینگویج سولوشنس ٹوڈے وی آر گوئنگ ٹو ٹاک اباؤٹ آئلس اسپیکنگ ان ڈیٹیل آئلس اسپیکنگ از ٹوٹلی ڈفرینٹ فرام ریسٹ آف دا ماڈیولس بیکاز ہیئر یو نیڈ ٹو فیس این آئلس انٹرویور یو نیڈ ٹو سٹ ان فرنٹ آف ہیم آر ہار اینڈ یو نیڈ ٹو ریسپونڈ ٹو دا کویسچنس وچ ول بی آسک فرام یو So in this way, this part is totally different from the rest. IELTS speaking module consists of three parts. Part 1, part 2 and part 3. Part 1 will be a question and answer session where you will need to talk about familiar topics. The questions, they will be about familiar topics. The purpose of this part is to make you confident because you may not be feeling confident since you are sitting in front of a person you do not know it is also a kind of uh, evaluation to check your ability to talk about the situation that you already know in the first part they will be asking question from you about maybe your studies the kind of subjects that you have studied or about your job about your hobby and so on these kind of topics they are considered familiar topics along with that you also need to know that this part it will last long for 4 to 5 minutes then when we talk about the second part second part is a monologue the first part it was a question and answer session but second part is not a question and answer session it's a monologue monologue means you will be given a certain topic by your examiner there will be a booklet and on that booklet there will be different topics your examiner will hand you the booklet and point out that this is the topic that you have to talk about you will be given one minute so that you can prepare that topic you will also be provided with a pencil and paper so that you can make your notes within the 1 minute time that was given to you for preparation when 1 minute time is over then you need to talk about the given cue card or the given topic for 1 and a half to 2 minutes keep in mind you don't need to stop in this part just by keeping in view the time that my time is over no you're not supposed to stop on your own your examiner or your interviewer will tell you that your time is over and now you should stop this part the second part it will continue till 3 to 4 minutes the first part it was 4 to 5 minutes this part is 3 to 4 minutes after that there will be the third part as we know that in other il modules the complexity of the topic or complexity of module it increases from beginning towards the end same is the case here the last part or the third part of your il speaking is going to be the most challenging part this part like the first part again a question and answer session where you will be asked questions however those questions they are related to the topic that you have already talked about in your second part it means the cue card that you have already discussed in the second part there will be follow up questions related to that cue card for example if uh, the cue card it was about uh, maybe the kind of ceremonies which are popular in your country then the third part it will ask you question about different kind of ceremonies maybe about the religious ceremonies which are prevalent in your country or it may ask you about comparison between the kind of ceremonies in the past and the kind of ceremonies in the present they may ask you about the kind of ceremonies the way they are celebrated across the globe 
so it means that in this part the question and answers they are not going to be familiar rather they will be abstract in their nature and you need to focus on the question so that you may be able to respond the question in this part they will compel you to think about the question and then talk about it as far as the span of this part is concerned like the first part it will last long for four to five minutes it means that the whole span for your IELTS speaking is 13 to 14 minutes this is the standard time for your speaking but keep in mind that it is not compulsory for the examiner to take your interview only for that specified time your interview it may prolong or there may be a shorter interview as compared to the standard time which means your interview may last long for only 9 to 10 minutes or it may go up to 17 to 18 minutes however your band score the expected band score it doesn't correlate with the time your interview lasted long it means if you gave a longer interview or if your interview it was taken for a long time it doesn't mean that you are going to score very well or you are going to have very good bands now lastly I'll be talking about the criteria on the basis of which your speaking is examined the criteria is quite similar to your IELTS writing module though there are a little bit variations as well there are four different criteria and you will be judged you will be evaluated on the basis of these four areas the first area it is your fluency and coherence fluency means how easily you can communicate without taking pauses and it is the ease of speaking that will be determined here then coherence means how logical your ideas are or are the ideas that you are presenting they are interconnected with each other is there harmony among them this is your coherence so the first criteria it is your fluency and coherence the second one it is your pronunciation pronunciation means are you able to say the words like English themselves say for example in our country normally people they say lieutenant where the true word is lieutenant or lieutenant so this is the example of a mispronounced word so you don't need to mispronounce the words there otherwise there will be reduction in your bands from this criteria so pronunciation is the second criteria it will be checked there then the third one it it is your lexical resource lexical resource means your vocabulary it means the words that you are using are you repeating the same same kind of words again and again is there variety uh, that you are trying to use or you are using the same kind of words and they they'll also be observing if you use synonyms or are you using any uncommon words and so on and uh, the last part that uh, will be measured that will be evaluated uh, as per the criteria it is your grammatical range and accuracy grammatical range and accuracy means grammatical range means the kind of grammatical structures that you use we have already discussed in uh, discuss this in our uh, writing module grammatical range means the kind of structures that you use like simple compound complex sentences active sentences passive sentences uh, variation in the tenses and so on so this is your grammatical range so you need to display your grammatical range your grammatical abilities over there in your speaking and along with that accuracy it means whatever you say it needs to be correct otherwise 
there will be reduction in this portion. All these four uh, criterion that we have talked about, they have the same weightage, 25% for each. It means the fluency and coherence, it stands for 25% of your bands. Pronunciation, it stands for the 25% of your bands. And same is the case with the rest of uh, the criteria that have already been discussed with you. Uh, what you need to be careful about your speaking is not panic because most of the students they lose their band score even if they are very good speakers because they are sitting in front of a stranger someone they have not met earlier and they need to talk to that person so they, they get confused there when they are sitting in front of the examiner so as a result of it they are not able to show their skill their 100 percent ability so this is what you need to be careful uh, as far as your speaking is concerned so that is all as far as the ielts speaking module is concerned thank you very much for watching stay tuned for the next video i love this